Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, before we uh, jump in and tackle uh, some more of the Via Infinito, I changed my setup temporarily. For Yuna, she's on High Road Winds. Uh, I don't think I changed anything there. No, I didn't. Not, not, not the High Road Winds, but she's still on the mascot. But I gave her the safety bit and ribbon there. Riku is on Tetra Master. I've got it updated as you can see there with the Thief Dress Sphere. Uh, on the left side, just, eh. Figured, well, if I'm going to give me using, if I'm going to be changing dress fears at some point potentially, eh, why not send me send it through a gate so we can get a little bit extra edge, I guess you could say potentially. But yeah, got her on the thief dress fear again. I'll go into that in a moment. Uh, the AP egg here and the smooth shelling on her to help speed up uh, the learning of one particular ability on the thief dress fear. And then for pain, she's on high road winds as well with the mascot safety bit and ribbon. So the ability I'm trying to learn for Riku is literally just a last-ditch last effort on my part to avoid having to grind after floor 40, or cloister 40. So yeah, I'm trying to learn Soul Swipe here. So yeah, with the AP Egg on Riku, that should help speed things up. So yeah. All right, and yeah, I... Decided since we were collecting a bunch of accessories while we were down there as well, so I uh, reorganized my inventory to look like this. So I got the Shining Bracer, Star Bracer, Crystal Bengals, Moon Bracer, Defense Bracer here, and just in case we can use it, the Ragnarok. So yeah, that could come in handy if uh, Yuna actually learns uh, the Ribbon ability. So yeah, got that there just in case. And nothing else changed with my item setup, so yeah. Alright, so let's go. All right, start with this floor. Eh? All right, so for well, Yuta, it's pretty much the same thing. Riku, I'm gonna have her pilfer guilt pretty much every fight. And even though it's immune to all four breaks, I'm still going to use the quartet knife on the tonberries now, uh, just so that uh, she still gets credit for the use of the ability because I believe it's just because it still does damage kind of thing to it. So yeah, so you can start speeding up her ability points as well. Probably didn't need to do that, but I will. It's already over healed. That's another thing I noticed. For a while now, I've noticed how, I'm sure you have as well, that sometimes we do an obscene amount of damage to the Tonberry. And I think that battle showcased it the best. From watching it while I was editing, I noticed that anytime somebody attacked it from behind, so attacked its back, it would do double damage. So, yeah. A little bit of a tidbit of info there that I was unaware of, so yeah. Anyways, let's go. Another feather to add to the hat, you know. Hey, Sandworm, how's it going? I got this. Hey, I want to fight. There, put for Gil and Quartet Knife. And this type of attack. So yeah, every time that uh, Pain uses Quartet, Knife gets her another uh, ability point out of the battle, so yeah. Not quite triple, but still. <laughs> Number 27. Is this the one? Well, it is one, but yeah. I don't think I've actually shown you where that uh, teleporter is yet. Put you. Go for Gil and Quartet Knife. What a nuisance. Yeah. 
This floor kind of reminds me of uh, Excite Bike for the NES. <laughs> I wonder how many of you are thinking, where did he come up with that? Well, just consider what it looks like. Hey, Shell Shocker, how's it going? It's been a while since we've seen you. Nice. I'm gonna miss you. Wow, is that close? Hey, how's it going? All right. All right, got everybody equipped the way they need to be. Definitely don't want to mess around with this guy. Let him come to me. <laughs> come to us. All right. Pure job. Quartet knife. That doesn't work out. And down it goes. The grandpappy of the drakes. And this is how we're equipped again. So there we go. Alright. Close this thing. Let's continue on. Ooh, this could be interesting, and by interesting, I mean get rid of that curl ASAP. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not messing around with the curl. Thank you, Yuna, for getting that on time. That's why I didn't want to mess with it. Normally I'd be using uh, the uh, elemental stuff that uh, Riku's uh, dress, uh, mascot dress fear has, but yeah, we're busy right now with that, right? with other things right now. Shell shark. Yeah, if you recall, I think when we first ran into this thing, 
Yeah, and it's regular form. It, I don't believe it can kill us, so yeah, because its attack is percentage based damage. Ooh, we got that, that one in just in time. back here. Teleporter's right there. Because I believe this is a new floor. This one's a bit of a puzzle slash maze. Time to crit. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, this one. You go off to the right, it's a dead end. Go here. Who's getting a three AP for each successful pilfering deal? So <laughs> basically, trading three MP for three AP each time. Not this again. <laughs> Not this parry. Alright, Yuna, you get ready. Green curl, I'm just going for the attack. There we go. <laughs> I'm really not messing around with that thing anymore.
up here, and there's Mr. Tonberry. Another floor that we need to kill a Tonberry to proceed. Compared to what we got, it's not much, but... Okay, <laughs> defeating that Tonberry. The exit opens up for us. Yeah, that first right led to a dead end. This right would have led to a dead end as well, but when you kill a Tonberry, it opens up. So yeah. Uh, okay, this is the Elder Drake. Yep. Let's get switched over. Alright, here we go. In any case you're wondering, Riku's just past halfway learning uh, Soul Swipe. Heal, quartet knife, attack. Oh, you know. <laughs> Ow. Next down. This is what we got the emergency stuff for. Next potion. Heal. Debuff them. Keep debuffing. <laughs> Revive as needed. <laughs> and down it goes. Yeah, things can get rough when it singles one party member out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so from here on out, I'm pretty much not going to show this anymore. Just be aware that when you see the fade out, whenever we see the uh, Elder Drake before and after the battle, yeah, you know what the setup is. Same ones we've been using so far. <laughs> 31. Alright, uh, yeah, the one's a long path here. The recharge station. We need that heal. <laughs> Yuna's running out of MP. There it is. Phew. Let's keep going. Bring it. She's sure getting into this. She's trying. It's been a while since we've seen one of these attacks.
Not bad for Sahagin Prince. Thirty-two. And we got this floor again. <clears throat> Perfect. Hey, 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 Ironclad, how's it going? How? I almost forgot about that. Yeah, we're waiting for him to open up his chest. Pretty much. <laughs> this is the part where you get hurt. Be strong. Open up. There we go. Nice hit, Riku. We've got bigger fish to fry. That's a significant weakness. <laughs> almost, almost a Death Star caliber weakness. Should have gone after the Cephalotus first. This'll help. Ow. Thank you. You know, I was getting a little nervous there. <laughs> of course, thought it wasn't exactly pointing at you know, but it might have changed targets. Never know. When it takes out half your HP. You uh, you think of these things, so. <laughs> whether they make sense or not. <laughs> Speaking of the guy, I guess, I think I might want to think about, just thought of this, I might want to think about putting a Dark Knight Dress here on. Because, yeah, you know what happens when it oversoles. That is one thing I did not think about. Let's do that right now before I forget. Uh, I'd probably be using Pain, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get that taken care of right away. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> now we're prepared for anything, hopefully. All right. Before we climb up to the right, let's use this right now. Since we lose it after we uh, deactivate the last switch. And let's see. We'll be after this. Thank you, you know. You okay? I 
can't remember for sure. Is that supposed to take your HP down to one, or did I just get extremely lucky? <laughs> I feel like it was the latter. Because, <laughs> yeah, that drops you to, zero, to one. <laughs> Come on, open up. Thank you. Come on, Riku. Okay. Elder Drake again. Q's got 12, either 12 or 22 ability points left for uh, Soul Swipe, so huzzah for that. Ready for. He interrupted her attack. Not that one, though. <laughs> Turned his back. At the worst possible time. Hey, here's a new fiend. I don't think we've... So this is the fiend I was thinking of uh, when we were 
coming up to Mount Gagazet. There's also a period in the Comlands that I don't think we've shown on screen. Yeah, this is the Adamantoys. It has 7,850 HP with 210 MP. You can steal an X potion or a belt from it. It is immune to gravity. It is only susceptible to Berserk and Eject, and all four breaks and any, any accuracy evasion luck debuffs as well. And it can do fire, fire magic, damage, and physical attack. It can also buff its defense as well, so heads up there. Uh, this is definitely where the uh, Quartet Knife can come in handy. Uh, at Oversold, it has 8,243 HP with 210 MP. You can steal a mis Mystery Veil from it. And everything else is pretty much the same, except for its attacks. It loses the ability to do fire damage, but now it can petrify you. So, yeah. But, anyways, just wanted to go over that since I didn't get a chance to during the uh, LP so far. So, yeah. yeah let's do this. Kyrja. And there's Soul Swipe. Ooh, you can put the AP egg and smooth shelling back on Yuna. Hey, it's uh. You okay? Ow. Let's switch over now. Why not? See the transformation. Live! And in person, pre recorded. And there's Poo Poo. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, yeah, that won't work on it. But, oh well. I'll at least get the uh, credit for the AP for defeating it. Honor. Yeah, I noticed that the. Uh, Quartet Knife actually reduces all their their uh, power, magic, armor, and mental uh, by three levels. So yeah, it's a it's a nice amount. All right, let's get switch over. All right, so new setup. So yeah, this is right back to blade. Yeah, let's go. Floor number 35. All right. I think this will be the last floor for the video. But before you click away, there's something very important I tell you. <laughs> Let's use Google Platter Rat. Aside from the fact that Poo Poo's in this game, does this mean Final Fantasy X takes Spira's world is in the same universe as Final Fantasy VIII? Maybe. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of fan theories about that. Because it is indeed Poo Poo himself, not a plushie. Alright, that doesn't work on everything. Remember, that's eject status, so yeah, won't work on bosses. Uh, okay, not yet. Next floor. does work on quite a lot of fiends. Still worth it to use Quartet Knife for the extra AP to get for pain. Obviously at 48 MP I shot with this thing, you definitely want to be on it on the, uh, on the wagon as far as uh, I guess on the, uh, what's the expression? It's a wrap. You want to be on the spot, I guess, with the, uh, make sure, make sure you touch those, uh, MP restoration spots, the teleporters. Yeah. All right. Made it to floor 36. Let's get out of here. Okay. 
This is very important, especially if you want to press ahead ahead of me. When you get to Cloister 39, make absolutely sure that you come back here and make another save file. Because of what you'll run it what you can what you'll run into on Cloister 40. And if you have not been keeping track of how many elementals you've been killing up to this point, you need to kill 16 elementals before you get an oversoul. So if you're sitting on 16 elementals defeated and you get to 40 without killing another one, what is on Cloister 40 will be oversold. And without that save file, you will essentially soft lock it. You almost soft lock yourself out of being able, being able to progress further because of what it can do to you. Um, yeah. So having that save file beforehand, if you get to the 40th floor, the 40th cloister, and it does oversoul, you can go back to that save file, fight another elemental, hopefully on th floor 39, and, you know, just take it out. But, yeah, um, I hope you're going to run into elementals, otherwise you're probably, you know what, I'm actually going to make a separate save file here myself, just in case. Because, yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, let's just, that's fine. Because, yeah, if I get there to the, uh, the, uh, floor 40, and there aren't any elementals I can fight before then, although I'm fairly certain we just fought them shortly before that, but, uh, yeah, you do not want to face the, the fiend on Cloister 40. You do not want to fight it when it's oversold, so that's the whole point. But in any case, we're out of there again. We knocked out another 10 floors. Next time, we'll proceed even deeper and potentially even to cloister number 40. And we will get to see firsthand what exactly awaits us there. This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Sirik1983. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button on your way out. Also, uh, be sure to head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83, see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there. Um, because, yeah, that's basically been my home for the past 10 years or so. And that is definitely where the uh, the most, uh, recent st mo most recent projects have gone up. So, yeah. This project right here is straight up just one of the last few uh, projects I have remaining on this channel before I officially call it quits here and uh, move on exclusively to Intrepid83. So, yeah. Head on over there, see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription, and if it does, well, I'll see you over there. But in any case, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Take care. Be blessed. And of course, obviously, thank you for spending some of your time here. And have a good one.